Hey there, Lama Lanaites! I'm Surreal Canine! Welcome back for more Lama Lana 2. In the last episode, um, I need to lower the volume on this a little bit. Like, oh man, do I need to lower the, lower the volume on this. But yeah, uh, in the last episode, we got into the uh, Immortal Battlefield for real. Um, except they can't, uh... So we can't actually teleport there, so I need to, uh, I need to remember how to get back. I think it's from this area. Um, from... Again, I still don't know how to pronounce that. I really should have looked it up in, like, the week or more since, uh, my last recording, but I did not. I know. I'm such a disappointment to all Let's Player kind. Whoa, snake. All right. Snakes are a thing that exists. Down we go, Immortal Battlefield. Last episode, we went that way, so this episode, let's go this way. I already uh, killed a mini boss that was here, but. Doesn't mean that's all there is to do. As a matter of fact, I have no idea what there is to do, because, again, blind run. We did open some floodgates, though. That's something. Also, uh, yeah, Dad and Grandpa were over there. Let's, uh... Let's dive. Whoa! Um, it's me. I spotted a suspicious pair. They sped by at full speed while I was wandering around the immortal battlefield. Isn't that your dad and grandpa? Oh, so it was the old man I led the Lana Lana ruins. What does this guy have to say? Hero Roderick. You, uh, you seem like kind of a guy. A uh, thousand coins for a harp, though. That's not really something I can afford. It is a Kraken! I was right! Giant squid found in the deepest parts of the ruins. <laughs> That's just silly. He's part of a special rescue unit from the USA. Um, sure. This looks like a thing. Zvip dagger. That was a little risky, but, uh, look what we did, guys. We did a thing. The life seal. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Oh, well, okay. Alright, so we need the life seal to do much of anything here, but uh, at least we killed Zip Dagger. That's something, right? Can't get into into the uh, Sephiroth here. I'm 
shurikens. Always nice. Alright, up we go. That's a cute little thing. What is that thing? It can, uh, can walk on walls. Okay. It's a Kavanda. What is that? It's a headless monster. Its eyes and mouth on its body. That's that's pretty funny. He's kind of cute. Clashing lands of searing heat and freezing cold lie beyond Nidhogg's Gate, the lands of the peak of Yggdrasil that can constitute the ice fire treetop. Acquired a power to withstand both hot and cold. We did that already. It costs 50 coins every time. Is that of real oops value to us? Who knows? I'm not having very good luck with these spikes. to have happen. Well, let's go over here. Let's see what's here. Anything? Uh, that looks like a birth seal. Yeah. This thing takes a lot of stabbing to kill. I'm not entirely sure I like it. There are two sigils there hidden within dragons. Check the back of the three-eyed dragon. I need to uh, clear out some text. Yeah, I was I was just over there. Okay, so the illuminating ring of power is in that room. Is what we are saying here. Oop, I killed. No, I just knocked him down. Alright, this isn't working. Uh, emergency exit! Alright, so that expedition was a bit of a bust, but we can always go back. I really should be looking for the Grail Tablet, though. <laughs> Man, it gets me every time. Down we go. Once again, into the land of the land. What did I just pick up? Oh, Cetus data. Okay. Third children's chimera experiments.
There are no tablets recording Dark Lord's footprints. Trace his footprints in the land of the Dark Star. There, Ra's servant Sekhmet guards Aten's room and the Room of Judgment. I've been here. Whoops. Hello, Mr. Puppy. Okay, that uh, did that for us. Jormagand is sealed in this land. A battle like a turbulent gate awaits they with the golden key of our making. Okay. Oop. Whose tent is this? Mulbrook! Hey! This is the immortal battlefield, the waterlocked roots of the great tree. We found it, guys! It's pretty great. What's over this way? Oh, we've already been here. There's some kind of boat here. What is this thing? Whatever it is, we can't get... Ha oh. Actually, you know what? I bet we need to flood this place. Uh, this room specifically. Might make sense. Ow. Now that statue is shooting at us. Ooh. Soak in the water, for your body will be healed. here, I guess. This is sh the ship is known as the Spiral Boat. Seals protect the Spiral of Life and the Spiral of Hell. The two sigils hidden within dragons. One of them seals the Spiral Boat. Ow. Very rude. Oh, hello. I want to check the contents of that. Uh, Oh, dang it. Well, whatever. At least I only get... S Oops. At least I only get sent back here. Uh, I 
get up there. Don't actually know. It's a mystery. I drop down from above somehow that I don't know actually. Alright, whatever. Whoops! Again with the sp ah! This is just not going well. Hmm. I don't think I can do anything about this room without being able to sink into the water. Mechanical God. There's a strip. The inscription reads Jormungan's Seal. Those who possess Mjolnir can harness the power of storms. Lightning that strikes them will be theirs to wield. It needs simply raise the hammer. Bring the Thunderhammer's might to, mare, to bear upon the pillar it resembles. Oops. Cross the river Styx with a small key in hand, then move on to Nipahelir. You shall receive a weapon that will do you great service if you are to traverse the underworld. Thank you, Mr. Yama! be bestowed upon those who can withstand body melting heat. Okay, I need to come back when I have the uh, heat and cold resistance. Beyond Nidhogg's Gate, there lies a tool to latch onto walls, on the path between the Searing Lands and the Frozen. What's this guy have to say? Oh, okay. <laughs> I crushed him. without um, whatever seal that is. Eh? Kasugi research papers acquired. File 5, The Second Children. The Second Children are said to have lived in the Shrine of the Forest Giants. However, it is written in surviving texts that these second children were wiped out through civil war in the ruins of La Milana. It wasn't the giants who were in the Shrine of the Forest Giants, but a number of the Loka Pala. It appears that none of the second children remain in Eglana either. The civil war among the second children was caused by nine siblings who held power at the time. 
Text details 9 siblings. Zebu, Bado, Nigella, Leto, Futo, Abuto, G, Ribu, and Sake. Detailed information on his siblings can be found accompanying some very nice stone statues found around the ruins of Lama Lama, now a tourist spot. Possibly due to the fact that they were indeed giants, this race turned out to provide an excellent workforce and is said that among all the various races born from the mother over the centuries, it was they who came closest to achieving the final goal of returning the mother to space. They had apparently been successful in making contact with extraterrestrial beings and they had made it as far as developing rocket ship technology. But even these advancements did not provide the power required to send a huge mother off into space. This is where opinions divide. Continue trying to return the mother to space, or resign themselves to the fact that the mother would remain here on Earth. The nine siblings split into two opposing factions leading to war. According to texts remaining inside La Mulana, it was the youngest brother, Socket, who ultimately wiped out both sides of the conflict. Nothing is known about Socket's motives nor intentions. Interesting. Okay, I'm thinking it is time to, uh, oops, I'm thinking it's time to return to the Village of Departure. So yeah, next episode, we are going to get our hands on some hot and cold resistance and return to the Immortal Battlefield, where, if all goes well, we'll be able to, uh, get some new items and stuff. I hope to see you all then. Bye-bye for now, guys.